Hello, this is Ms. Augustine, and we are going to practice some more stoichiometry calculations. Today we're going to try a mass-to-mass -mass and a mixed mole problem. So remember, there are five types of stoichiometry problems that we encounter. Um, and today, as I said, of the five, we're going to be looking at mass-to-mass -mass and mixed calculations. Remembering that our conversion fact that makes it a stoichiometry problem is a mole ratio, which is comparing the number of moles of any two substances relative to a reaction equation, and that that information comes directly from a balanced chemical equation. You can think of the balanced equation as the recipe, so to speak, for the reaction. So. I said we're going to do a mass to mass, and that means you're going to be given grams of something, and you're going to have to go to moles of something using molar mass. Then you will use your mole ratio to get from moles of what you were given to moles of what you are asked for. And then going from moles to grams again, you have to use molar mass. So for the reaction, uh, 2 potassium chlorate decomposed to 2 potassium chloride plus 3 oxygen. How many grams of oxygen will be produced from the decomposition <clears throat> of 125 grams of potassium chlorate? So the given here is 125 grams of potassium chlorate, and the unknown is how many grams of oxygen will be produced. Again, it's always a really good idea when you're starting out doing these problems to circle the given and the unknown because that's what's going to be in your mole ratio. Those are the two things we're talking about. And before we solve it, I like to get the molar mass out of the way. So here's my molar mass box. 1 times potassium is 3910. 1 times chlorine is 35.45 and 3 times oxygen is 48. So our molar mass for the potassium chlorate is 122.55. The molar mass for oxygen is just going to be 2 times the atomic mass of oxygen. That's 2 times 16, so it's 32. So now we're ready to begin the calculation. So we're going to start with the given 125 grams of potassium chlorate times molar mass for potassium chlorate that we calculated here. So one mole of potassium chlorate has 125 grams. Notice our given was grams, so in our first conversion fact, grams needs to be in the denominator, so that grams of potassium chlorate cancels out. Now we're ready to go to our mole ratio, which is going to come from our equation. And so our mole ratio is, from the equation, 3 moles of oxygen for every 2 moles of potassium chlorate. Notice here that moles in the previous step was in the numerator, which means it has to be in the denominator here, so moles of potassium chlorate cancel out. Now we're at moles of oxygen, so we need to multiply now by molar mass to get rid of oxygen. So again, here we have our fraction, and we're going to have molar mass with grams in the numerator. We want grams, so grams has to be in the numerator. We're getting rid of moles, so that has to be in the denominator, so that moles of oxygen cancels out. So we're going to plug into our calculator 125 divided by 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 32, and that's going to equal 48.95 grams of oxygen. That number has four significant digits. So we're going to round that to 49.0. Our third digit would be the 9, but because it's followed by a 5, we round up. Now we're going to try a mixed problem. And in a mixed problem, you're going to get some unit. If it's grams, your first step will be going to moles using molar mass. If it's liters, your first step is going to moles using molar volume. And if it's particles, your first step will be using Avogadro's number to get to moles. The next part would be the mole ratio, going from moles of this to moles of that. And then finally, with your final unit, 
you're either going to use molar mass to get to grams or you'll use molar volume to get to liters or Avogadro's number to get to the number of particles. So this is going to be a mass to volume problem. So for our same reaction, the decomposition of potassium chlorate to yield potassium chloride and oxygen, we're asked how many liters of oxygen will be produced from the decomposition of 175 grams of potassium chlorate. So the given is 175 grams of potassium chlorate, and our unknown is how many liters of oxygen. Now because we're starting with grams, we're going to have to calculate molar mass, but at the um, second half of the problem, we're just going to use molar volume to get to liters. So again, starting with molar mass, our molar mass box, 1 times potassium is 39.10, 1 times chlorine is 35.45, 3 oxygens are 48, so our total is 122.55 first step will be to start with our given, the 175 grams of potassium chlorate, and use molar mass to get rid of grams and go to moles. So again, grams was in the numerator, so grams has to be in the denominator. Grams of potassium chlorate will cancel out. Now we're at moles of potassium chlorate, so the next step is our mole ratio. We're going to want oxygen in the numerator and potassium chlorate in the denominator, so our ratio is 3 moles of oxygen for every 2 moles of potassium chlorate. Moles of potassium chlorate will cancel out. Now we're at moles of oxygen, and to get from moles of oxygen to liters of oxygen, we're going to multiply by molar volume. So 22.4 liters of oxygen for every 1 mole of oxygen. Again, Mole of oxygen is the denominator in the previous step. Mole of oxygen was the numerator, so moles of oxygen will cancel out. So now plugging into our calculator, 175 divided by 122.55 times 1.5 times 22.4, and we get 47.98 liters of oxygen. This number has four significant digits. We have to round to three. Our last digit is a nine. The number after it is an eight. Uh, the rule is five and above. You give it a shove, so that will round to 48.0 liters of oxygen. So what we did here was we were given grams. We went from grams to moles using molar mass. Then we multiplied by our mole ratio. And then we multiplied by molar volume. And again, we ended up with 48.0 liters of oxygen. So this is Miss Augustine signing off. I will be posting more stoichiometry problems for us to practice very soon, um, and I hope this helps. Thank you.